Hello and welcome to the Vita Weekly Update, where I take the news of the week and compress it into a bite-sized video. And look at this! Brand new format! But let's not hang over that too long, here's the news! The Jack and Daxter HD Collection has received an ESRB rating for Vita, hinting that the game may become available for the Vita sometime in the future. The collection was originally released in 2012 and contains high-definition versions of the first three Jack and Daxter games. No official announcement has been made. The infamous Worms series by Team17 is making its way to the Vita sometime this year, with the managing director stating that this version is going to be the ultimate handheld console version of the series. There's no official announcement or details as of yet, however. The indie darling Limbo is coming to the Vita sometime this year as well. The port is being handled by Double Eleven, creators of the Little Big Planet iteration on the Vita, and will be a bare bones port with no new features, just the games through and through. The other indie darling Spelunky is coming to the Vita as well. The incredibly hard action platformer is not being handled by Derek Yu, but an external studio. The game has already come out on PC and an enhanced XBLA version. The game is also coming out on PS3 and is due this summer. The other other indie darling Terraria is coming to Vita sometime this summer too. The port of the Mind Freudvania game will include all the content that recently released PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, including 8 player online multiplayer, leaderboards and trophies. No date was given. Metrico is a new game based around infographics as presentation coming exclusively to the PS Vita. I couldn't tell you what this game is after about watching the trailer three times, so just watch it. There's no date yet, but it should be out this year. Sega announced their Secret Tease game. It appears to be a sequel to a five-year-old football mansion game on the PS2. Yeah, I know. Dragon's Crown has been confirmed to be releasing in America in the summer after Japan getting a release date of July 25. The game will feature multiplayer, however it will not be cross-platform, but both platforms will work online with similar systems. I don't have any more details to give, sorry. Guacamelee is coming to the PlayStation Network on April 9. The game is a brawler with dimension switching and Metroidvania elements thrown in for a sweet sweet mix. The game will be $15 cross-buy and will include a platinum trophy. Table Mini Golf, a new game in the lines of AR games for Vita, is coming out on April 9 for $1.99. The game is a tabletop golf game with multiplayer elimination and free play modes, trophies, challenges, and online leaderboards. The game will also have a third course pack as DLC for $0.99. Cents. A new Japanese website is offering modifications for PS Vita hardware so that video footage can be streamed from the Vita itself to a computer and recorded. The hardware hack itself costs around $200 if you send a Vita in, or $400 if you want a brand new Vita with the mod. And that's it for this week. I hope you all enjoyed this, because this took a long time to put together this time. Like, subscribe, comment, share the video around if you liked it. See you all next time.